latest now for Carrie Kennedy on trial for driving while drugged. More than a year after she was pulled over for wreaking havoc on a highway, the daughter of Robert Kennedy was in court again yesterday when the judge set a date for jury selection. ABC's Gio Benitez has the story. Carrie Kennedy was all smiles as she walked out of court Tuesday, confidently telling reporters... Looking forward to the trial. A judge setting a trial date for Kennedy's drugged driving case. Police say the 54-year-old daughter of Robert F. Kennedy swerved into a tractor trailer in July 2012 and fled the scene. She had no control of the car. She almost hit about five cars before she got off the exit. Following the accident, she said she mistakenly took the powerful sleeping drug Ambien with her coffee that morning instead of her thyroid medication. I want to apologize to the driver of the truck who I apparently hit and to all those I endangered. I remember getting on the highway and then I have no memory until I was stopped at a traffic light and a police officer was at my car door. Police say the ex-wife of New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, was slumped over her wheel when officers found her off a New York highway, charging her with driving while impaired. She has pleaded not guilty. I think she's frustrated about the fact that the case is, is you know, dragged on this long. She's anxious to put this behind her. She's anxious to have her day in court and have the case tried. In May, a judge refused to dismiss the case, letting jurors decide whether or not she took the Ambien mistakenly. Jurors will get that chance when the trial begins in January. For Good Morning America, Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.